Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Thursday to all of you and welcome back to Let's Build the World. Very dramatic. Oscar. Yes, please. Thank you. Anyway, hello, Brindleton House Part 1. We are finally onto a new lot and I'm so excited to get started onto a new lot after a month of working on that castle. I'm just ready, ready, willing and able. So Brindleton House is going to be a very mini kind of manor, Georgian inspired, owned by a very prestigious family called the Berry Cloths. Probably going to be the oldest build that would have been in Brindleton Bay. Um, they were a very aristocratic family who owned several of the estates around the area. We'll delve into the history of that and the kind of juicy details um, a little bit further on in a minute. So we're, I'm introducing you to a couple of sims today and I'm going to just delve in and show you where we're going to be building this wonderful house. So without further ado, let's stop talking. It's part one. We don't tend to get a lot done in a part one. Bare bones of the house down. Introductions to the families and whatnot. Um, but that's it. Let's flop on over and let's start getting juicy. Juicy. Okay, my dear. So here we are. This is the lot that we're going to be building Brindleton House on. It is just off of that little um, river area. And it's got access to the beach area kind of there. It's over from the pink house. Now, this is where the original berry cloth family estate house was built and this is what we're going to be doing today so that's what we're going to be doing that's the lot i've pulled out a few objects that i'm going to be playing around with because i player tested a few things um i'm going to introduce you to the couple of sims in just a second so in my head the berry cloth family owned this part here this lot over here and also this big estate over here which is going to be a big family farm like a huge farm that i want to do on a 64 by 64 lot uh, to tie in with the storyline that we've got going on here. Now, this what storyline, you may ask? Well, I'm going to tell you now. So, first up, we're going to introduce you to Lady Penelope Berrycloth and her dog, Elizabeth, who is just behind us there. Hello, Elizabeth. So, Lady Berry, Lady Berry, Lady Penelope Berrycloth. <laughs> it sounds like something out of like a, I don't know, like a Nancy Drew game or something. Um, but Lady Penelope Berrycloth, not your most friendliest of sims she's a definite snob that's for sure her father um and uh their his father before him and so forth over hundreds of years have owned the berry cloth estate which is this frontal area of brindleton bay now they rented out to tenants several farms and whatnot all of that kind of juicy business uh she's always been single she's always been single until the love of her life, who is this lovely gentleman here. This is George. Um, Graham, sorry, not George. <laughs> I knew it was a G. I was going to call him George, but that's the name of her father. Graham Williams. Graham Williams is... This is going to be really difficult to explain. Graham Williams' father... We'll start with that. Graham Williams' father was the tenant of George, who is Penelope's father. Now, these two grew up together. They grew up together. They were... um like children playing around frolicking around i reckon penelope's dad didn't really like penelope mixing with graham too much because of class sort of values that the aristocratic people have tories um so he wasn't really all of that sort of happy about their friendship but they were the best of friends throughout their whole childhood going into their teens when they started to fall in love with each other. And they did. They fell in love with each other. They wanted to run away, elope and get married. But Penelope um, was warned that she would be cut off from the family in inheritance. Um, it would break her mother's heart. She was kind of guilted into it and it never happened. It never happened. And they kind of broke up their friendship as well. They kind of broke up their friendship. Um, Graham was devastated. It was it, Penelope was the love of Graham's life. But he, mar he remarried. He remarried and they were together for quite a few years as well. Uh, until Penelope's father died. George died. Left the estate to Penelope. And Penelope decided to pursue Graham. Even though Graham was married. Um, they did end up having an affair as well. And that lasted for quite a long time. Before Graham's wife found out. Graham's wife rents the farm so she actually will be in this family over here with graham's children 
they actually live there too. Um, they're grown up, but they do live on the farm with their mother um, and their families as well. So it's going to be quite a big family household, that one. Probably an eight sim household, to be honest. Um, and with her new husband as well, she remarried. She remarried, have had a couple of stepchildren as well. Um, but Graham decided to move in with Penelope. Now, they're not married. They're not married. And the reasons being is Penelope's a little bit worried that the prenuptial agreement that tie into her family name will not leave Graham anything if the worst was to happen and she was to die first. She wants everything to go to Graham. Um, she really, really does. But they kind of had a bit... They've been together now, mar not married, but together around about 10 years, I reckon, maybe a bit longer, maybe a little bit longer, 15 years, around that kind of point. I would see them probably in their late 60s, early 70s. Um, and they're just, things are just starting to get a bit stale. They're not laughing as much as they used to anymore. They're not really spending much time together anymore. Um, Penelope is um, kind of like out doing all of her charity work, whether as I reckon Graham's getting a little bit bored. He loved farming. He loved living that kind of life. It's what he was used to. It was how he was brought up. And he's just a bit bored of doing nothing. So we need to give Graham a job. Now I'm going to leave that up to you guys. What would you see Graham doing? Um, what would you see him doing? Let me know. Let me know. But this is going to continually develop. This is definitely going to continually develop. I've got ideas for another family who are going to be living up here as well that are going to mix things up a bit. And obviously, I've got all of the ideas for the family farm over on this bit here. Um, but I just love this kind of storyline where they kind of, I don't know, fell in love. Yes, they did it the dirty way by having a naughty affair and whatnot. But I really want to kind of develop these characters a little bit further as the build progresses. And as always, I love hearing some ideas from you guys as well. So get them down in the comments below because I know everyone around in this community loves reading and seeing your ideas as well so please let me know but um yeah we can, we're gonna develop these two a bit more but i thought i'd just give you their background i like their kind of like intertwined sort of like love story throughout the years kind of vibe um i'm kind of into that i'm very much into it so anyway this is where we're going to be building today so let me get into build mode properly and we'll make a start okay then my darlings let's go let's start this house shall we so as I said, it is a very stately home, um, but it's not huge. It's not a massive house. I don't really want this house to be too big, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm not going to do it a gigantic. I'm not going to have a gigantic moment with it, to be honest with you. Um, so we'll see what we'll come up with. We'll see what we'll come up with. I did have a little player test of the front facade. So I don't really have a massive plan back here about what we're doing just yet. Um... So we're going to continue on and see what we come up with, my loves. How are you, Thursday? So glad to be on a new lot. I really, really am. That castle, as much as I enjoyed doing it, and I know I keep saying that and it almost may may seem that I didn't enjoy doing it. It just, oh, it just took too long. It took too, too long to do that. It really did. And in the end, I was getting a bit like, oh, God, I'm a bit bored of doing this now. Um, So I'm so happy to be on <laughs> to be on a new lot i really am yeah we'll do that we'll do that over this side this is going to be a side little like um conservatory area i think we'll have a nice big fence in it now these lots are a bit pants because they don't have like pathways up to it and stuff and like it's just this grass where you just start with this i don't like that i like seeing lots connected in with terrain paints but the sims team don't seem to like doing that for some reason uh, a bit like when they don't like to you know fix bugs and stuff but that's not for here that is not for here um we're gonna continue on <laughs> it's just me getting bitchy now and we don't want it to come between us anyway so here we are let's get up here let's put a roof line on first i'm thinking about just using a hipped roof because i think that would just give it the georgian vibe that i want to be on here um it's, as i said it's not a huge house but it's a very prestigious house with lots of history so that's how we're gonna portray this one we are unsure if i want to bring the flaps down as much as i have there but we're just gonna leave it like that for a minute let's get a little yeah let's get a little georgian height going on with that roof line i think that might be okay now i'm gonna use this stone here the foxbury stone i think this will work 
on the whole of this. This, but you're probably thinking, God, this is coming together fast. And it's because I had a little player test. I think that's important as well to like, if you're going to build something, even if it's a speed build or something, um, just do a little player test in the beginning. Sort of see if you're liking what you're seeing and what you're doing and whatnot, you know, loves, you know? But yes, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We are. Um, door. Stunning. Did I put the door there? I think I did. And then I put two pillars. Yeah. I put two pillars like this. Um, they can stay at that height because, my loves, I'm going to put a little trim around it as well. I think we used this one here, the white one, just on here. I don't think I did it around the whole thing. Uh, I can't quite remember. Might have done, but we'll leave it like that for the minute. Hate the lighting here. Really do hate the lighting, but we're just going to have to work with it. Now, this is what I did with the windows. So, did I do one or did I do two? I can't remember. Did I do two? Did I do two? I think I might have did two. Yeah, I did. I did two. I did one here, one here, like this. And then I used these new wainscoting thingy magics. Um, and I think I flopped one there, sized one down, and flopped one there. And then I did it the same on this one, obviously, and the same upstairs too. And then what I did, and then I used these, flopped them down to a smaller size, and just framed the window with them. A little bit of a custom built window. The Sims don't do Georgian windows very well. Um, CC creators do. There's lots of beautiful Georgian windows out there. Um, Felix Ander, obviously. Um, Felix Andre. Felix Ander. Felix Ander. Felix. <laughs> Why am I confusing your name now? <laughs> no idea, but I love you. <laughs> uh, beautiful Georgian windows. And... Um, Charlie Pancakes did some Georgian-esque windows quite recently as well. I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called the Maple Construction Windows. They were kind of Georgian-esque as well, which I, and I loved them. I really did like them. Um, but this is the kind of vibe. I loved that. And then I'm going to use this on the edges. Um, I'm going to have to frame them up a little bit better like this. Uh, and I have to size them down as well. But I use these just on the edges of the build as well. And I just thought it really worked. So let's get these windows above it too. We're going to do one there, one there, one above here, my love. Um, say about there, beautiful. And the same here as well. Thinking about putting a big stone wall around this build as well. So I might have to go into debug to find that. Um, I think that would be nice. I think that'd be very nice. Um, but you kind of see the kind of vibe that I want to go for with this. I think it would be lovely. I did a roof line on here last time, so I think I'm going to do that again, actually. I'm going to put a nice roof line up here, flop it out to there, tuck all flaps in, pull that down. Beautiful. Is that going to be an okay situation we got going on there? I think it will, as soon as I've put that on, and obviously chosen that too. I think this will come together quite nicely. Um, I'm going to bring you down slightly more though, my love. A couple of, couple of bits. Uh, and I'll get the same details up on these windows. And I'll frame everything in on here as well. And then we'll start on the conservatory. There we go. I've put all the details on the windows. And I've put the front corner details on. We'll wait until we're behind in the back and the sides before we do that. And I've figured out a floor plan as well. But we're going to do the... The conservatory together. Now I used these last time, but I don't really remember how I did that. <laughs> I don't. I won't lie to you. I think it was something along these kind of lines. But let me just see. Let me see how this is going to work. I mean, that's not too bad. That's not too bad for the minute. I'm. Um, I'm just a bit unsure. I think about the wallpaper on here, the brick. But I'm, we're going to test it. We're going to testicles it together, darlings. That's what I did. Right, let me flop you to there. I don't think that was right, that last one. It wasn't. It needs to come in from there, like that. Is that right? Are you right? Are you right? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Then, I want to get a little half-hipped number on this side here. And we're going to do a lovely little conservatory moment together. Quite tall as well with that roof. Maybe a little bit shorter. Like that. And then I'm going to use the diamond pattern in the kind of silvery white business, I think. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm unsure about that, to be honest. The windows. I'm unsure about the windows. Let me see if I can find anything better than that. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It looks very posh. But, um, yeah, I'm a little bit dubious about it. So let me see if I can find some better windows. Or slap me on the tits and call me Lady Penelope. That's all I'm saying. I think these windows would look smashing here. Smashing windows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Just, you know, A-class bit of com comedic talent there, darlings. Absolute bit of comedic talent. Yes. Yes, that's the one. So that's the vibe. That's what we're doing. Uh, we're going to do that. We are. You watch. We're doing it. We're going to do it together as well. Um, what am I deleting here? Anything? Anything? <laughs> Anything? Uh, can I put you on there without it looking gash? Let me whiffle these down. Let me see what that would look like. It needs a trim at the top there. Do you know what? Yes, we'll do that. Does this need to come down just a little bit more? Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. And I'm going to do a square trim there as well, actually. Just so I can get a bit more of a thicker edge on that part. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that will do. I will, however, need to flop one of these in this moment here, I think. Yes, we'll do that. We'll flop one in here as well. Unsure about door just yet, so maybe we'll choose this together. We need quite a posh door here, darlings. Oh, do you know what? This would work here, actually. Oh, the detail goes away at the top there, but I think I can overlook that. Yeah, I can. I can overlook it. I can. I'm overlooking it right now, darlings. Absolutely overlooking it. We're going to flop two of these next to it here as well. I forget how shit the lighting is on this lot. Um, Like, you know, 90% of the Sims lots, to be honest with you. There's a really good lot in Strangerville. Up on top of the cliffs where those kind of Queen Anne houses is. In the top right corner, the lighting on that lot is to die for. So I definitely need to do a build there sometime soon. Um, because I haven't built on that lot in a very long time. I like that. I do like that together. Wondering if this needs to be up on some, like, up on a foundation. So we've got a lovely staircase coming up to it. I think I might do that. I'm going to do it. I am. Watch me. I think we are going to do it. We're going to do it, darlings. I'm going to flop in a little bit of that there, darling. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we're going to push you to about there. There? There. There. And then put some lovely steps in. It probably needs to be some kind of stone step. Uh, I'm wondering if this one might be a bit too dark. Um, possibly. Unless I use this one instead. Oh, this one could work a bit better. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling that. But I think what I want to do... I think I'm going to do a little corner curved moment in the front. The frontal regions. Round about here. Not over the stairs. I think we should go to there with it. Yes. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do it on this side as well. What? In fact, I'm going to curve it all the way over to this area here and have that whole area like that I think eh I don't know actually I don't know if I'm feeling that no I'm not going to do that I am going to oh, why did I get rid of that for uh, I'm going to curve this area here like so oh was that pillar like creep oh me fucking wall's gone I was wondering why I could see that pillar then and it's because me bloody wall's gone love Absolute wall went for a little wall case. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes. I just heard myself then. Little wall case. Um, yeah, I'm thinking. Mm, maybe with the the. Oh, that infuriates me. Like, what is the coding that works out when one of these should appear? Because it doesn't match in with this side. Like, look at these two embarrassing absolutely embarrassing that is i'm thinking that i'm thinking foundation i don't know about you lot but i am thinking foundation and i might try oh yes this would look nice flop these on the front let me have a little look at this as well oh i'm kind of feeling that darlings 
Don't know about you, but I'm feeling it. Yeah, yeah I think we will. I'm going to do a chimney on this side. Um, I might even raise the terrain up around this part here. But um, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. Unless I put two chimneys on the actual roof. I think I might do that instead. And I'm going to use these ones here. And I think that colorway would match in really well with the house. Oh, it does. Wondering if this might be a bit too tall for it, though. Let's have a little look from the front. No, it's not. No, we're going to do two of these either side. Very Georgian-esque. Oh, yes. I'm feeling it. Very much feeling that. And a lovely bit of stone up here as well. Stone work, though. I don't really know where to go with that. So let me trial. Uh, I think it needs to be something a bit more like this, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That's nice. And I'm I'm feeling wisteria. I'm feeling wisteria on the front of this build. So that's what we're going to do as well. Lots of wisteria. And as I said, with the sort of first part, we don't tend to get a lot done. I'm going to uh, try and get as much as I can done today. We'll be back with this tomorrow anyway. Um, but we don't tend to get a load done, do we, my loves, on a first part? Let me flop this down. I'm trying to make it look a bit all natural. Stunning. I probably want to use that one part again so I can go up and clamber it up a bit higher. Oh, it's not. It's going to be down the bottom. Right, if I do you there then and then get one of you. No. Silly. One of you and maybe clamber it around here. I don't mind it going on the windows too much. I just want to connect these two parts in. Uh, unless I just do that by placing this here. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, yes, this is going to work. This is going to work, loves. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. And then I'm going to do another bit there. I'm going to do the long bit across here like so. And then I'm going to clamber it down the other side as well. That bit needs to come up just a little bit more here. So I'm going to just do that around there. And then um, I'm probably going to need another bit of this. Why are you down at the bottom? Oh, is that still the bottom wall? Bloody you. Where's the... There we go. Okay. There we go. That should work. Like that. Um, One of you as well. Beautiful. And we'll clamber you down as well. I may even mix some ivy in with this. I'm going to double you up, I think. Just, no, I'm not. Totally lied. But yeah, I am going to just make this a little bit better around there. Like that. Let me see that, please. Yes. Yes, I think that would suffice. Suffice quite nice. Don't really like how you're going up there, though, to be honest. So I'm going to move you. Put you two around about there. Oh, je ne sais quoi. Yeah, I'm for that. Absolutely for that. And I really want some corbels because it's me. And corbels are just my shit, you know? Love a corbel. Absolutely love a corbel. Do I want to darken it down slightly, though, the corbel? Um, maybe go for, like, a grey corbel. Oh, that could work. Yes. Uh, I'm going to place them. I'm going to do one right at the edge. And then I'm going to do one in the middle of the windows. So we've got good balance then. Uh, there we go. Lovely. Beautiful. Stunning. Cover girl. Moments, you know. And we'll flop them around to this side as well. Let me see that. Oh, this is working for me. Very much working. We definitely need to get a stone wall around here. So I'm going to have to try and find one. Oh, the only problem, look, it's not left me a lot of room here for access out. Unless I put the access from here. That could be it. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll put the access from here. And we'll just window up this area here. We'll go straight across lots of these windows. Oh, that's not going to balance. That doesn't balance, so I'm going to move you this way. Will that balance now? It will. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that should work. That should work. And the same with you as well. I'm going to be rising up the terrain anyway around this, but I just wanted this foundation in the front here, to be honest. Lovely. Okay, right, let me find a good stone wall that I think will just really work well in this house. I do want it to be quite a high stone wall as well, like for privacy sort of matters. Um, even though they can see right into the house from the main road. But that's what I want. So give me two secs. And there we go, love. Big stone wall. 
I think that just will match in quite nicely. I can see you, Foundation. Stop it. Um, I think that would be very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, I'm kind of feeling a tree in the front garden as well. I don't know how we're going to do that, but a tree. Now, this is a bit off. Like, this is slightly a bit off. Maybe if I, like, just pulled that in a bit tighter, that that would, like, frame up a little bit better. Not perfect, but that's all I could do. Oh, I forgot. also forgot a pillar here. How dare. How dare I? How dare I do that? Um, but I am feeling a tree in the front garden. I'm very much feeling a tree. Uh, let's see if the ones from the cottage living um, would suffice in this front garden. Because I kind of want like a big old oak tree, which is like that. But that's huge. Oh, I don't really want to size it down twice, though, because it kind of takes away the magic of it. Oh, that's very nice, though. What about the back garden? Uh, it kind of waste up space. I don't really want that. Let me see how to just... Oh, that is very nice. That's a very lovely tree for here. But I think it is just a little bit too big, sadly. <laughs> it was massive. It is very nice. There we go. That one there. Stunning. Beautiful. But yeah, I just think that was a little bit too big. So mm, we'll have to go a little bit smaller with it. I'm not using the trees around either because I just don't think it would suit... Uh, and that's not the vibe either. I need an oak tree. We'll just use the one from the actual build catalogue, I think. And it's only 70 simoleons as well. Yeah, that will do. That one there will do. Let me see if I can, like... I want it, like, that way, but I don't want it to, it to swamp the house too much. That's not too bad. Not too bad. I think I'm going to gravel the front area here. I have a little moment here. Maybe a fountain or something. That could be quite cute. Uh, and then we'll have this, like, soil. I'm also going to raise the terrain up, but I'm going to do that off of camera because I know that this fence or this wall is just going to lift up and I'm going to have to mess around with the bloody tool mod. Um, but let's do that. Let's do that together. And then we're going to leave it here for today. We're going to leave this part here for today and be back tomorrow with another. So, uh, I really... Do you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to trial something. Because I used the big wall there, I'm wondering... If I used two of the smaller ones, like this. Oh, nope, darling. Hmm, that's still going to be the same position. Oh, there is a smaller piece, though, isn't there? Where are you, you little shit? There you are. Maybe if I, like, flopped it like that. That's a very big open space now, though, isn't it? I mean, that's fine. That's fine, actually. That is not perfect. It's not perfect, unless, it like, once again... I widened it open. That sounds filth. Widened it a little. We like a wide on. <laughs> and left it open quite. That's very big though, isn't it? What about if I did like it? I want it to like here. Let's see if we can perfect it somehow. If I did it to like here and here. I need to bring this forward as well. Um, Use another one like this. Can I just squiffle these in i mean the texture goes a bit weird but i could put some more pillars to cover that because i kind of do want it to be semi sort of balanced to be honest i mean that's not too bad we have got slight little bit of weirdage going on there but i might be able to hide that with another pillar like this and then maybe the same one on the other side. I mean, that one's a bit further away, but... Uh, I don't really like that. I don't really like that. Now, I'm going to go back to our original. That The one that we just did before, that one there was a bit better, wasn't it? So, um... Oh, that's the same. Oh, no, that's, that will be fine. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that, and I'm going to pull you in. And match you up this way, my love. Same with you. And we're going to pull you in a little bit further as well. Let me just see if I can... Oh, let's cover those... Cover those naughtiness. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Still a bit squiff, but that's what we're going to do. That's the only way we can do. Uh, and then what I want to do is... I want, I'm going to gravel this whole front yard area, I think. And as I said, do um, a fountain. But put some stepping stones, I think. So let's gravel it together. Let's just absolutely gravel this together. Crunchy gravel. 
No cars here either. We'll definitely give them a butler as well. We're going to be giving them a butler in this household. Um, so we'll have to make sure we've done a little butler room. That is what's going to be happening, Estes. I'm going to gravel you to around about there. All the way down to here, my love. We'll cover up all of that. Beautiful job. Uh, and we'll do some finer details tomorrow. But I think that, yes, that will work. So, fountain. Fountain-wise, I think we're going to struggle with a fountain because they're all either too big or too small and I can never find where they are anymore. There we go. No, that's decorations. Oh, no, that is actual fountains. Okay. So, I mean, I mean, yeah. That one there would probably... Let me see you as well. Oh, I mean, that one's a bit large. But I think that would suffice quite nicely. For a bit of drama, you know? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to absolutely do it. I'm going to use that bigger one. Yeah, and I am going to try some stepping stones. I don't know if we're going to do stepping stones just yet, but I'm going to trial some. Let me see what colour are you? I mean, no, as soon as I've put it on there, it looks absolutely naff. Let me just put a few around just to sort of see. Yeah, no, that looks shit. <laughs> absolutely shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think we'll leave it here for today. I think we'll leave it here for today and we'll come back continue on with this tomorrow but this is the kind of vibe we're going for i don't think we've done too badly today for the first time do you um brindleton brindleton house very exclusive house we'll continue on with this tomorrow so we're going to play around with the exterior we're going to put the windows on i'll make sure to have a floor plan inside as well why are we open in here oh oh naughty i bet somebody noticed that bet somebody noticed that excuse you um, but yeah, as I said, we'll play around with this a bit more tomorrow. We'll come back um, and we'll carry on with the exterior. We'll put the windows on, uh, do the back area and we'll start putting in all the finer details of this house uh, inside. But it's, it's looking nice, I think. It's looking very nice. I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I will be back with this part two tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.